I'm Dale Snyder, and this is Sweetgrass Garden, and this is our compost operation. As you can see, it's eight bins across, and the first two are veggie compost, and then this is fish, 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 finally mature fish, and then supplies over here. We're eventually going to fill those up with mature compost as well. And uh, uh, the question for our uh, grant is, is fish compost, is fi excuse me, is fish waste compost worth the mess and effort? So we pretty much all know that fish compost is good stuff, but is it really worth the trouble? Uh, and part of the trouble is that it can stink. So that put us to thinking, and we did some research, went online and found out some scientists in, in uh, Canada had come up with a way to make fish compost with, uh, by controlling or, or partially controlling the smell. And the way they did it was to create biofilters around the fish compost piles. And so we took that idea and adapted it for our compost. And unfortunately you can't see them, but underneath each of these piles are uh, five foot long PVC pipes with holes dr drilled into them and uh, when we first set up the piles the the air can actually get in on either end it's kind of been covered over on these but that air comes in under the pile and is drawn up uh, with the when the when we stack when we stack up the compost with fish straw leaves and dirt of course it starts to heat up and when it heats up it draws that air up into the pile and provides a passive aeration system. So that's the first thing that we do to help control the, the smell. The second thing is that we build these biofilters all around on four sides. This one has four sides of biofilters. So inside here are stacks of fish waste, straw, dirt, and leaves. A lot of pecan leaves, because we have pecan trees grown here, and they shed a lot of leaves, so we use that. And around it, we fill these uh, biofilters with, or we fill these cages with dirt that contains the smell when you stack them all up, um, all the way around, the smell does not get out no matter what you put in there because you've got six inches of dirt on either side and about six inches of dirt on top. So, on a day when we get fish, we come out here and we clear a bin and start fresh. We make sure that the PVC pipes are open and, and drawing air, put a little straw on top of them, then some leaves then a, a layer of dirt, and then the fish, and then lasagna layered up as many, uh, as many um, tiers as we have fish. And uh, in about three days, it's cooking at 130, 140 degrees. We use a, a, temp uh, a thermometer to measure it, and we've measured the, the uh, temperature changes day by day for six weeks. And it's amazing how quick it heats up. Um, and then the fish dissipate, or um, they dissolve, really. And all that's left are fish bones. And not many of those, either. The, the biggest bones that you find will be something along these lines, where you see a fish head. Occasionally, you'll see other parts like this. This is a... Uh, a stack of finished fish compost. 